has Taiwan always been part of China? Hitherto, this island had always belonged to China. But exactly how deep are the links between the two sides? I'm going to share with you stories of people who dare to bridge the gaps separating the two sides against the strong headwinds. city of Xiamen in southern China overlooking the Kingman Islands, including the islets you see right behind me. This is the closest point to the Taiwan region. I'm going to share with you stories of people who dare to bridge the gaps separating the two sides against strong headwinds. The story of one of them started half a century ago, not far from over there. Wu Guojin is a professor of physics at Tsinghua University in Beijing. He was born and raised in Taiwan. In 1970, at the age of 23, upon graduating from university, he served in the military on the Kingman Islands in the Taiwan Straits. This was his first encounter with the mainland. Two decades earlier, the Chiang Kai-shek regime had fled to Taiwan and surrounding islands after losing the civil war. A stalemate ensued. Emboldened by the United States, KMT forces kept attacking targets across the Straits. In 1954 and 1958, Beijing shelled the Kingman Islands as a deterrent. In the 1960s, the shelling took the form of firing leaflet bombs every other day. The flyers which fell near Wu's barrack triggered his curiosity. Only a couple of years later, however, Wu's world would be turned upside down. In a library of Tsinghua University, Wu Guozhen showed me his prized historical materials. These silent films record an episode in history unknown to many. Video camera. In 1971, after finishing his military service, Wu went to the United States to pursue a doctoral degree. A student movement, however, changed the course of his life. In late 1970, Chinese students and overseas Chinese took to the streets to condemn the U.S. arbitrary decision to transfer administration of some Pacific islands near Taiwan to Japanese rule. The islands, including the Diaoyu or Tiaoyu Tai, had been Chinese territory for centuries. 
This was the beginning of the movement to defend the Diaoyu Islands, or Bao Diao, in short. Ninja 我扭转这个思想花了两三年时间而且非常痛苦的过程 Despite several months of outcry, the Taiwan authorities' weak response to the U.S. decision disappointed protesters. They realized that only a unified and strong China could protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The movement morphed into one promoting reunification. It would reach over 50 cities and more than 100 campuses across North America, Asia and Europe. 长期以来蒋政权一直对他们说蒋介石代表着全中国代表着台湾人民的利益可是到了这个钓鱼岛这样子一个关键时刻其实他们没有办法做任何的事情甚至还要去从于美国的这个要求出卖自己国家的这个主
In Zhangzhou City, Fujian province, an annual parade is taking place to pay tribute to Guan Di, literally Emperor Guan. It is a deity symbolizing loyalty and righteousness, worshipped by Chinese across the world, especially in Taiwan. Every year, devotees from the island would join the procession together with their floats. The event was the first one after COVID restrictions were lifted. Clearly, extreme heat and humidity didn't dampen people's enthusiasm. But exactly how deep are the links between the two sides? The Anthropology Museum of Xiamen University in Fujian houses one of the largest collections of Taiwan-related artifacts on the mainland. People who don't know the history of China may wonder why Taiwan has been an inalienable part of China. But for the Chinese, including many on the island, it's never been a question.的新石器时代的有段时奔 the hidden crown jewel of the museum is a military map believed to be drawn during the 18th century. 现在看到的这幅是我们馆藏的清初台湾手绘地图。since the 12th century, China's imperial central governments have effectively ruled islands including Taiwan and Penghu on its southeastern seaboard. Dutch and Spanish colonialists occupied parts of Taiwan in the 17th century. In 1684, the Qing dynasty set up a Taiwan prefecture under the jurisdiction of Fujian province. The map clearly illustrates this administrative structure. Long 那跟当地的人民一起开发整个的这个台湾岛，才有了整个发展和繁华。This is not the only such map. An almost identical copy can be found in a museum in Taipei dating from the same period. 它的水路、水道，还有它的城门的设置，甚至它一半竹子、一半城墙的这个特征也画出来了。包含里面有各种信仰的场所，嗯，有妈祖宫、观帝庙，实际上也是从一个侧面印证了这幅地图的年代，对，和它真实性。At the end of the Qing dynasty, the fate of the island suffered a major twist. 
In 1895, after the First Sino-Japanese War, Japan forced the defeated Qing government to cede Taiwan. Japan exerted a brutal colonial rule over the island for 50 years. In 1943, heads of governments from China, the US and the UK issued the Cairo Declaration, stating that all the territories Japan had stolen from the Chinese shall be restored to China. In 1945, an ultimatum called the Potsdam Proclamation, signed by the three countries and subsequently recognized by the Soviet Union, was issued to Japan, stressing that the terms of the Cairo Declaration shall be carried out. The People's Republic of China, founded in 1949, replaced the previous KMT regime. As a natural result, Beijing enjoys and exercises China's full sovereignty, including that over Taiwan. Taiwan is a Chinese people. Taiwan is a Chinese people. 所以这个是中国领土。Chen Kong Li of Xiamen University is a respected authority on Taiwan studies. He started his research in the early 1960s, spanning the most tumultuous periods of cross-strait relations. 另外呢,从历史上是被日本侵占过,但是国际上的公认 Hitherto, this island had always belonged to China, and the Dutch had doubtless been permitted to live there, seeing that the Chinese did not require it for themselves. But requiring it now, it was only fair that Dutch strangers who came from far regions should give way to the masters of the island. William Brown has lived on the mainland for 35 years. Prior to that, he had served in Taiwan as a U.S. airman for two years. He showed me this book, written by a former Dutch colonizer. So the last Dutch governor of Taiwan in the beginning of the 17th century actually said, admitted himself, that the island of Taiwan had, you know, was part of China. Yes, they always is China's 就完全忽略到那个历史脉络，好像台湾跟大陆一开始就是分离的两个个体。你至少要看到前面的历史过程吧，你看到这个历史过程，你才能去说啊，为什么两岸会出现这样子的一个状况。Historical evidence is crystal clear. However, in recent decades, the water has been muddied by the rulers of Taiwan. After two-way travels were eventually restored in 1987, relations would peak two decades later. At one point, in 1992, both sides reached a consensus that there is only one China. But things took a nosedive since 2016, when Tsai Ing-wen from the Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP, gained power. On legislative front, Tsai pushes the passage of several laws, including the so-called Anti-Infiltration Act, to intimidate and suppress voices for integration and reunification. Under the Act, those who are found to participate in political activities at the instruction or commission of, or with financial support from, so-called hostile external forces could face years in jail. Another tool is to deepen a decades-long campaign to strip islanders of their Chinese identity. They're not doing it for the good of the people. This is just a political thing. The Yellow River is China's second longest river. Its source, marked by a copper statue, is located in the remote northwestern hinterlands. The river flows eastward, stretching over 5,400 kilometers. As the cradle of the Chinese civilization, it's dubbed Mother River of the Chinese Nation. People started to settle alongside the river since ancient times. 
a legendary ruler Huang Di, or the Yellow Emperor, united the divided tribal groups, which later developed into a greater civilization that is still present today, and the offspring became today's Chinese. In northwest China's Shanxi province, an annual ceremony to pay homage to Huang Di was held during the Qingming or Tomb Sweeping Festival. Many compatriots from Taiwan traveled far to attend the event. In 2013, the then chairman of Taiwan's new party, Yok Mu Ming, planted a cypress tree during the ceremony. He named the site Si Yuan Ling, a nod to the shared ancestry and roots between Taiwan and the mainland. Following the ceremony, many from Taiwan planted trees on this site. Ten years later, Yok Mu Ming visited here again. Yok Mu Ming is in his 80s. At the age of eight, he left the mainland with his father, who was going to do business in Taiwan. They never expected that they wouldn't be able to go home for the next 20 years. Taiwan Yoshiluntio, 台湾讲的不是中国一部分,我怎么来啊? Since Li Tenghui's time, an official campaign has been unfolding to strip the Taiwan locals of their Chinese identity. Young students have been the primary target. 一九九七年以后不是五千年in 2019, Taiwan authorities drastically cut contents about Chinese history and placed it in the category of East Asian history. This approach triggered strong opposition from many on the island. 中國是注重歷史的民族After the ceremony to commemorate Huang Di, I talked to a young person from Taiwan. I 
，一直到大学，所以四十几岁以下的这些到现在啊刚出生的台湾的年轻人，他接受的身份认同是混淆的，他已经不认为他是中国人，他们受西方文化影响很很厉害，他们那边知识分子到了比较高层。都去美国去去留美，他们回回来教育年轻一代，都是灌输美国那套，所以灌输的很厉害，不不单单是什么简单的宣传，同时呢，他这个观点是通过政府传播下去。This kind of, is is pretty obvious to me that they're not doing it for the good of the people. This is just a political thing. The people in power, if they became part of mainland again, or even do the one party, two systems things, but still they will lose some measure of power. And right now they're in complete control, and they don't want to give up their political power. They're not open. Now the information can't be completely closed. No, but their students, their young people, are they really thinking about the changes in Chinese history? 共产党革命的历史，毛泽东是何许人物？共产党是做什么事情？大部分都是 zero。For Wu Guozhen, the price for pursuing truth was high. After he settled in Beijing in 1977, it would take him 16 years to finally revisit his hometown. 他不让我们回去。当时是。呃，知道了这么一个结果之后是什么样的？那也无可奈何。In 1993, he was allowed to set foot in Taiwan to see his father. By then, his mother had passed away. 就他，你第一次回台湾去吧。我跟见到的我们那些亲戚朋友啊，我都跟他们说道歉。哎，我说我做了一些事情，让你们可能有些不方便的地方。给他们也是有一些压力吧，哎，但是这个事情他们本身也并没有跟我讲说你乱跑，那我们都惨了，是吧？他们也后来慢慢也理解，是吧？当地的一些人，特别是官员，就是他们将您看成是异异分子，异异是吧？嗯，非收拾你不可。Wu Guozhen found his way in life through joining the Baodao movement, but he wanted more people. To be inspired, in 2010, with his help, a center was established in Tsinghua University to collect materials related to the movement. Wu donated his personal collections. He also serves as a consultant to gather more archives from that period. The center now boasts nearly 20,000 such items, the largest in the world. Two countries have been so many years. Many things are hidden from the surface. 深层的东西，很多问题并没有真正的去解决。这种这种东西是相当，呃，怎么讲的，很难办的一件事情。怎么样看待两岸关系？大陆的人怎么去理理解台湾，或台湾的人怎么去理解大陆，或者思考，呃，大的来讲中国的未来，小一点话讲台湾的何去何从问题，相对后面的人能够有些启示。呃，虽然时代不一样，但是很多地方还是有共同的地方。四十八年之后、嗯、再回头看当时那个决定、嗯，您觉得您选择的对了吗？对，当然，当然对。毫不犹豫的。对对对，嗯。Over the past decades, the Chinese people have borne the weight of countless hardships caused by the painful divisions. Today, we shall have the right to determine our own fate. Eventually, serenity shall permeate the Taiwan Straits, allowing us to sail towards a shared, unpromising future. <laughs>